So the Bourne Ultimatum. The thing was this, I remember at the time this was a very acclaimed film. This was considered a phenomenal achievement, the the great climax of the trilogy, the, the best of the trilogy, and it culminated in one of the, the finest trilogies in the history of the entire medium, apparently. Now it seems people don't care as much about the Bourne trilogy. Maybe the two subsequent films really hurt the reputation of, of these initial three. Or maybe it was people who were really tired of the Paul Greengrass style, shaky cam in films in general and action films, and Michael Bay or whomever you want to name, even you know, Roland Emmerich and other mainstream action films. Zack Snyder began to engage in this as well, I suppose, before it was phased out a little bit for the mid to later 2010s. And then I think looking back, people just grew tired of this idea that you could just sit back and relax and watch this action film trilogy forever. Just, yeah, history's over. We can just enjoy the Bourne films forever. Like they're the Rambo films or something. I don't know. I just, I just don't think it was palatable for audiences forever. And I guess over time, the idea that this great film trilogy was, you know, this Matt Damon, Jason Bourne, and it's like, what, what kind of storyline is this? What, 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 what is going on in these three movies anyway? Like, here's the thing, Ultimatum storyline makes it kind of fall apart as a successful trilogy in a way. Here's the thing, the Bourne identity had a plot. The Bourne supremacy also has a plot. It's another thread of the Jason Bourne backstory and he, it's, it's a loose end which is kind of inevitable. It's, it's the past coming back to haunt him. It's the end of Bourne identity is too good to be true moment. That's the Bourne supremacy. Maybe we'd be better off as just the two films. And the third film, it's like, oh, he's got to come full circle. And it's just like, they, they did it? It wasn't, it didn't feel like it was building up to the ultimatum. I don't like how they wreck on those events of supremacy into the events of, in the middle of ultimatum, because it, it, I like how cool that ending of supremacy was. It just butchers it for the sake of some nonsense in ultimatum, because they were too lazy to write something else. Anyway. Oh, man, they could come up with some way of Jason Bourne figuring out where the address was. Why does he need to get there? It's like, oh, and there was someone else who was secretly behind it all. And Jason Bourne needs to find him, and he's still there. I was waiting for you, Jason. It's like, he wasn't, but, like, he is, clearly. Like, it's so dumb, really. Like, this movie falls the fuck apart. Like, it's... The first two had a veneer of being smart. This one has a very thin veneer of being smart. It's so freaking stale. and really just... Kind of stupid when you think about it. That Morocco sequence is considered really cool at the time. I guess it made everyone forget about how, how, I don't know, somewhat dull the rest of the film is. Honestly, once he's in America, this film is not very interesting. It's so-so whatever car chase sequence is, oh, a car lands on another car, and then he goes into that building, and he's like, this, do you remember Jason? He's like, yeah, 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 I guess he does now. It's like, what, what, what now? Like, what does this change? Nothing changes. Like, nothing changes about the Jason Bourne character from having you know, encountered this guy. So it's like, what? Is it just some big nihilistic thing? Like, what's, what's the go? Ultimatum is far and away, honestly. It's... If you want to argue it's technically the finest achievement of the trilogy, you have to just look at the Morocco sequence, which it's, it's fine, I guess. It's good. No, it's good. And then, otherwise, this is easily the weakest of the three trilogy... The, the three. Arguably, it's the one of these films which is the least classic, it's the least rewatchable, the least memorable, the least impressionable in my mind in the long run, honestly, really is sadly. This video shows serve as a proposal here. What am I missing with this particular title? I, I like it overall, I certainly, although what, where, where, what, what classic status am I not seeing here? Those who are fans of this film are probably fond of the entire trilogy, and I have fondness for the first two, which which wanes for this one. Can uh, do my reasons make any sense to to the to anyone else? To those who agree with me about ultimatums issues, they probably aren't a fan of the trilogy in general. I would imagine generally. So who knows? Let me know if I'm making sense or not. If you feel as though there's need to, I found myself with not too much to share about the Bourne ultimatum, for better or for worse. It's a fun enough trilogy, it's not the bastion of entertainment forever, never bored ever again, that I guess some people once thought it was in the great DVD box set era of the 2000s, but I think we can move on into this ethereal era of digital cloud storage. 
it makes for fun novelties every few years and we remember it, want to see how it holds up in the 20 whatever, 10s, 20s, 30s, 40s. And I like it overall. Thanks for suffering through this meager retrospective of this once classic trilogy of the 2000s. Ah, what a time. Thanks again, my friends. Have the best possible day and night you have ever imagined or ever could possibly imagine.